hello and welcome. Thanks again so much for joining me on another brand new episode of The Crafting Coach. My name is Megan Rosendahl, I am The Crafting Coach, and this week we are looking ahead to spring with a little bit of color. Why spend more when you can make it yourself? That was my mentality going into this week's project. And one way to prove how fun that can be is to design our very own pair of canvas shoes. This week we're turning this $10 pair of canvas flats into this. It's the perfect way to totally customize a shoe to fit your personal style or to brighten up any look. So here's what we'll need for this week's project. One pair of canvas shoes, I got these at Hobby Lobby, Sharpie markers, and rubbing alcohol. You'll also need some sort of pipette or syringe and clear tape, which is optional. This is a very laid back project that doesn't require a whole lot of concentration because no matter what you do, no two pairs of shoes are going to be exactly the same. But if I'm gonna be honest with you, I think that's my favorite part. Select any color sharpie and just start doodling. The more color you push into the canvas, the more saturated the color will be. If you want a lighter color, don't use so much ink. You can do squiggles or even dots. The end result will still pretty much be the same. Just create a pattern that's unique to you and full of the colors that you love. Don't worry about touching a part of the shoe that has a ton of color on it. Your hands are safe, for now. When you're done, if you want, you can cover any areas that you don't want color on with tape. Just skip this step if you're not too worried about it. When you're ready, suck up some rubbing alcohol in your syringe and start lightly dropping it all over your design. I start with one section and move my way around, but any way you want to spread the color is up to you. Don't worry too much about using too much, but keep in mind that the more you use, the more it spreads. And this is the part where you do need to watch what you touch, as the color will bleed. Set these aside to dry, and you're all set. In love. How cool is it that I designed my own pair of shoes, or in this case, a shoe for a little girl. The colors pop and there's nothing else like it out there. If you wanna go back in and redo some of the color that you've done, that is just fine. Just be sure that the alcohol is completely dry first. Otherwise, you just run the risk of ruining your markers. We all know Sharpies aren't cheap. If you design your very own pair of Sharpie canvas shoes, I would love to see them. So please send any completed project photos to mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com and they could end up in an upcoming episode of The Crafting Coach. That's all that I have this week. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode. And just a reminder that I will be back next Friday morning at 11 a.m. with another brand new project just for you. We'll tear it apart. We'll break it down. I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what not to do. And hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my Crafting Coach board on Pinterest you can find me under Megan Rosendahl and also be sure to follow the American News online and on Facebook where every single Crafting Coach video is available for you. On the American News homepage, just hover your mouse over the Features tab and scroll down to the Crafting Coach. You can also directly follow the Crafting Coach on Facebook and you can even tweet me at crafting underscore coach. Thanks again so much everyone and we'll see you all next week. Bye!